Cool. Yo! I got just carried away in chat there and forgot to hit the button. How you all doing? Good to see you all. Darius, Pongpim, Entrebiad, Shamira, and our man in blue who is really hard to read because of that. It's the worst colour. Barad. Awesome. Good to see you all. Audio and video okay? Thank you, sir. Alright, so today we are going to have a play around with, hopefully, well L systems, which are a little way of generating... You can generate a number of curves and all sorts of things with it, but I want to generate some plants because it's kind of cool. These are um, by a guy called Lindenmeyer. The L, system, the L in L system is Lindenmeyer. And he was a botanist, if I remember correctly. Actually, we could just get the, the wiki article up. Right, let's uh, switch things around. Make me small. There I am. Cool. Get rid of that red box. Switch over here. Hopefully have L systems. Here we go. Look, I was even prepared. Cool. Um, yes, theoretical biologist and botanist, and basically what we've got are, I'll skip some of the strong kind of, uh, proper mathy kind of examples. What we have is a little grammar. We have a sentence which is made of symbols, and they, you can call it, what do they call it? They call it a string. We're going to use a list, naturally. And for the symbols, we're going to use symbols. And what you do is you, um... You have a bunch of rules like this. This says A transforms into AB and B transforms into A. And then in parallel, you go through um, your string and replace it using the rules. So you generate a new, sorry, we'll go through our list of symbols and generate a new list of symbols based on the rules. And then we are gonna use these as instructions. Often you can see them in like things like logo. You know when you have the turtle and you said forward, left, forward, back, like stuff like this. We're gonna use this as instructions to something like that, except we're gonna do it in 3D. And, um, yeah, let's see if we can make something. I'm, I haven't done this properly before, so that'll be interesting. Um, but apparently, you can generate stuff like... Here's a really simple example where you start following these rules. And it's kind of... You're, in a way, you're um, subdividing and replacing with extra detail. It's kind of cool. But, before we get into this, I probably should do a brief recap of what I did over the last week. What did I do? I have no idea. Let's have a look. I did get some new stuff in. Oh yeah, okay. So, let's have a look. Main stuff was, I, I've been doing a bit of a... Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I had some basic scissor support in last week. And so I added um, support for arrays of scissors, scissors buffers so you can set the, the scissor viewport for different attachments. I think it is. No, different... It's not attachments, is it? It's... Um, Draw targets, which would be attachments in some cases. Um, hey, Jace. Let's see what's going on. Van Laser, I don't think I've seen you here before, unless you're coming in here under a new name. Um, formal grammar, sorry. Chimera begins ripping out his own throat. It's okay, we're not going to do it academic, because I'm not good at that kind of stuff. So we'll just... Uh... <laughs> Barad. <laughs> Getting taxonomical with it. Yes. Um... See what else is going on. <laughs> Random shouting of os names. This is the right group of people for me to be streaming at. Excellent. Hey, good to have you, Van Laser. Right, so yes, did some stuff with um, scissor viewports, and then I did. Um, we should have support for stencil, um, stencil textures now, and stencil attachments in FBOs. They should be in. I also did some stuff with. Draw masks, color masks, and that kind of stuff. It was basically, there's a bunch of basic GL features that Keppel didn't have, and I've just been throwing them in, which is kind of weird. So I get to this place where, aside from bugs, which there are plenty of, Keppel's kind of feeling like it has most of the stuff I wanted, like for 1.0, whatever that means, originally. I'm getting really drawn into all the kind of, a little bit of the newer stuff. Um, again, the multi-draw and... Everything related to um, approaching zero drive overhead and bindless texture stuff looks super cool now because I have other stuff. So yeah, we'll get to that. I have also, just before the stream, been messing around with our project from last week. So I've made a branch uh, for episode 7 and I've left our pizza game there. And I don't think I'm going to touch that again. As, as, <laughs> as funny as it was, it's, um, I don't see... like. If that game was really well polished, 
it would still just be forming things on a pizza. Um, so what I've done is I've stuck that on a branch and you're free to obviously do whatever. <laughs> Formed of him. What? Yes. Hollow heart. Well, no, that's a hollow heart is your mirror, apparently. Um, oh, it's just, yeah, so. Jamera doesn't really hate grammars, it's just uh, flashbacks to uni and commissar. Yeah, man, I uh, I failed out of university too fast to, <laughs> to have these problems. Um, so yes, made a branch, shoved it there. I've gone through and done a little bit of a cleanup on this branch. So basically, master is just going to be left in its basic state. And then every week we'll just branch off with it and mess with it whenever it's going to be useful to us. And the main things I've done are... I've moved the definition of our base object thing in here. I've made draw and update into methods so we can just specialize on them. Actually, we should probably have a update method just for thing. Uh, when we load this, well, what we'll do actually, let's just branch off quickly and then we can get into things. So branch, this is episode eight. Bloody hell. Right, let's push that. So that's done. No, oh, have I not done that yet? Fine. Um, yep, good. And then, I don't know, we've already got slime up. How prepared I am. Load in our little project and let's get it running. <laughs> Where is the pizza artist? Oh yeah, uh, Shimera is going to be streaming again tomorrow. His a uh, very pessimistic summary of that is there. Uh, so yeah, 1930 Central European Standard Time, I guess that is. Assessed. CST. Right. I'm not sure if I can make it, unfortunately, because uh, I said to a mate I was going around his, but I might be able to put it on the background, which would be cool. Okay, so we've got a project. As you can see, it's a lot more minimal than last time, less pizza and more dirt. So that's all we've got so far is one um, ground object. So yeah, we have a class called ground. It subclasses a thing. When you make the ground, it pushes itself onto the list of things. And the rendering, now, our, main, um, our main loop now, is very simple so it's calls game step just like before we update the camera just like before we update the uh, viewport because we just do that every frame because we're lazy upload some uniforms for the camera and then we just go through all the things updating them and drawing them that's it so all of our little parts of the plant are going to be things which we're just going to have to define in a minute right actually i will leave let's leave the rep up doesn't hurt to have it there Okay, so the first bit we're going to have to play with is, so L system -y stuff. We are going to need to look into the actual core part of the L system, which is defining our little language, our rules, and having the axiom that they call it, which is just the starting list. And then we can recurse on it a number of times and get something like this. Let's follow their rules. So let's let's do this one roughly. Let's take this as an example. And the reason we do this little language thing, by the way, so let's get the doodling out. The idea is, say we have a little language that says F is forward, and then this is turn left, and this is turn right. So and we're going to be drawing like we have a, a little pen down the whole time. So we start from here. And so if our sentence was F, F, like this, here we go. One forward, two forward, turn left, and then go one forward. And then we could say, go right, go forward, which would take it to here. 
So this is going to be our little language that describes how we're going to draw stuff. And instead of drawing lines, we're just going to make cylinders because it's easier for us that way. And uh, and it's not going to disappear. There it is going to disappear. I've got to remember the new key combo. Nice. Entry add turtle graphics. Exactly. Yes, turtle graphics, pretty much. But our own twisted variant. Yeah, Chimera, actually, while I remember you were talking about the chat, the reason I'm not as keen on streaming to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time is the most valuable thing for me in all of this is you guys. I, I, I don't want to have people, like, hanging out over there and not getting the chat and not being able to ask. I actually, like, it's a bit shitty to bottleneck everyone here. And if there is a better service than Twitch, I will switch. But right now, I'm just shoving you all here. Just to say, well, YouTube chat, but then people are going to be there and they have to open this chat. It's just a pain. Then they have to have two accounts. Yeah, they could pop out the Twitch chat. I'm not sold. I'll have a think about it, but my immediate reaction is no, no. Right. Um, let's comment that out. And so let's start doing some experiments. So if we start with... The Axiom, which in this was just A, so a list with just A in it, we'll do that for lowercase. So we've got this, and then we're going to have some rules. So let's work out how we're going to represent our rules. It's going to be a list, of course, um, and we'll have it just be cons pairs, like an A list. So A will go to AB, and B will go to... A. That's simple enough. I know technically that's a list, so we could just turn this into this. And so if we look at our rules and we ASIC, how does this work? Oh, wait a second, I need to enable uh, concurrent hints and then I'll be able to see what's going on. Item A list, cool. Right, so if we do A, we get A, A, B. So we want the rest of that. So to go from A to AB, we're going to take the rest of ASIC against the rules. Um, so how does the string um, system determine splits and how the individual branches grow from there? As I understand it, you can get to that now. You can have symbols which represent um, pushing, like remembering where you are basically, pushing your current position and angle onto a heap and then popping it off again, onto a stack, sir. Um, so here, this guy, these constants, uh, this might be forward and then remember your current uh, position and angle and do something else and this is jump back to that remembered place. So we're just going to create a little stack and push position and things on and pop them off again. Stack machines, got it. Yeah, I, I think that's right. You probably know more about this than I do. I just work here. Right. B gives us A, that's right. So we're actually a lot of the way there. Our um, else's substitute. Now I don't know if I can spell anything right. There we go. Um, it's going to take some rules and a sentence and we're going to loop over it loop for i in the sentence and we're going to append together um actually we'll do this into else's run rules sentence let's do that then we can do else's substitute passing in the rules and the char the symbol rather and then we do what we did here rule whoops can't do that with earmuffs symbol okay so just quickly test this else is substitute with the rules and a and with b that looks good and so if we Look at the chat and find out what's going on. Everything's stack machines, that's reality. Yeah. I still don't have a black belt in loop. Loop is weird, man. It's still it's still strange, but it's just 
it's always available and most of the time it's good enough. I've tried to get into Iterate because it seems better, but I'm still using Loop. Um, yeah, Shimera, you're right. It shouldn't be called Sentence, should it? I'm, I'm thinking, because I'm thinking of... Because... Ah, because, because, because... Because up here, they talk about this, like, grammars and strings and stuff like this. I was just thinking, for some reason I got into my head, I was like, yeah, this is like a sentence. What should we call it instead? Um, Steve Losh, you have to force yourself to use Iterate exclusively for like a week to get into it. Yeah, I expect so. I just, I, I, I need to take that time. I looked into, like, series was interesting as well. It's really cool to read about that and the whole, like, origin of transducers and all that kind of stuff in the, um, CL CLTL2. What a thing to say. Cool. Yeah, that uh, don't loop iterate thing is cool. You should read about four and then proceed to never use it like everyone else. Oh, I'm guessing that's another system you've made then, if you're that, <laughs> if you're that annoyed about it. That's Shimera. Okay, right, so let's rename this from sentence to something else. Let's just, yeah, let's just call it list. Okay, so now if we do lsys run on the axiom, whoa, invalid number of arguments one, of course it is. We need to pass in the rules. Yeah, then we get ab. And we can change this list for anything else. You know what, I like sentence, but Yeah, Jace, um, series has got the uh, code walker thing. Yeah, that's why I don't use it. It's nasty, but um, yeah, I, I I love the idea of it. There's certainly actual whole. Um, it, I mean, the same goal goal as like the uh, reduces transducers thing in closure. Um, the yeah, getting iterative kind of code out of that kind of composition is nice. Like toying with complicated macros in my limited spare time. Don't we all? Right. I must focus. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, so A becomes AB. If we do AA, we've got ADAB, which makes sense. ABB. Oops. And I suppose we should, rather than throwing nil if it's something that's... Oh, no, I mean, it just ignores things it doesn't know about. That's probably... Is that right? I think actually it should um, just leave the symbol how it was. And the reason I'm thinking this is when I was looking at this earlier, they were talking about, yeah, here we go. In this example, a one in the input string becomes one, one, which is this rule here, while the square bracket remains the same. So they have an idea of things remaining the same as well. And they don't have to specify a rule for something to stay the same. So in my head, that means I'm gonna just do all this, and then things like C. C is not a type list when binding this. Oh yeah, of course. We're appending everything, so it's gonna to have to be list of the symbol. Okay, so then, yeah. A expands to AB, B expands to A, C doesn't expand at all, A becomes AB. Cool. So far, so good. Let's test it with, they had some examples, didn't they? Yeah, this stuff. Right. That's fine. Cool. Right. So if I take this one, we should get equal that to ah. Could just look at it, but no. Yep, they're the same. Cool, so our expander is working fine. Um, I miffed for this with this use of formal grammars because they're conflating terminals with non-terminals. I don't know. Use multiple cursors. There's another thing I need to spend time learning at some point. 
Yeah, I know. I just like I'm so used to just record macro um, in Emacs that I just use that all over the place. But yeah, multiple cursors will be handy in some cases. Um, right, so I'm happy with this little L system substitute thing is going to be okay. The only thing we need to do now is to apply it like a bunch of times. So we can just do um, Lsys run n. Actually, we should just do it in. Hmm, what should we do? What shall we do? How lazy do I want to be? And if n is greater than one, then else it's run again with the same rules and the result is the new list and i minus one. And if not, then we do results. So now we should be able to do ooh, n minus one. That's n. Now we should be able to do a, and then we could say 10 times, and that expands to that. Good. Once, twice, three times, four times. That looks right. That's what we should be getting. Um, Shimura, you're talking about the uh, non-terminals and stuff like that. I'm not so familiar with how that applies. It's been a while since I, I read up on this kind of stuff, so feel free to explain it. Um, expand region. Jeez, what is expand region? Oh, is that the thing that, um, like, if you have a selection, widens the selection to the next set of parens? Ah, terminal leaf node. Cool. Thanks. Span region expands the region semantically. Works in many max bugs. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Okay, so we've got our little L system evaluator expandery thing. So now, let's try and draw something based on it. Um, the first thing we're going to need to do is have some kind of branch that we can draw. So let's go here. L systemy stuff. Um, yeah, we'll keep those rules for now. We are going to need a new kind of thing to render. So we're going to do a class. We're going to call it a branch. It's a kind of thing. The stream we're going to use, if I could type, is going to be a cylinder. We'll worry about its length and stuff later. Let's just get something going. So we'll say it's... Yeah, we'll say its radius is 0.1 and its height is 5. Now, if I remember correctly, this... Um, all of my primitives should be centered. Their origin should be in the center, which means this cylinder is going to be half stuck into the ground. So we're going to have to lift it up so we can rotate it around this point because we're gonna want it like an elbow. We're gonna to want to rotate our branch and then put another branch at the end of that and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Jeez has to vanish for a bit. She'll be back in 30 minutes. See you then. Okay, and sampler. What is the default sampler? I don't know, we have one. Oh, for now I'll just use the same on the ground. We'll just have a big stick of dirt. We'll get some bark on this thing later. Or some green, who knows. Right, scale. Um, scale is going to be one, that's the default, that's fine. Nice, so we've got a branch. Defun, make branch. Let's just have a little helper function for this because we're going to be doing this a lot. We'll do the same as with the ground, we'll just push it onto the list of things. Um, and we will want to. We're going to want to deal with its position at some point as well. Um, now we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just get something rendering. 
Make branch. Come on. What? No applicable method for the generic function update when called with branch. Okay, fine. That's because, I, like I said earlier, actually I should have done this already, that there isn't a default method for update when called with thing. Do nothing. That's fine. Uh, continue. There we go. Cool. So, let's see. Oh, I was wrong. My cylinder is actually rooted at the origin, which is kind of weird, but really handy for this. Nice. All right. There's our line. Um, pixel out or am I going 3D with the branching? Yeah, at first we're just going to do 2D rotations and then we'll just put a uh, polar rotation on it and start doing that as well. We'll start out just doing, yeah, forward, turn left. We'll just rotate around the z-axis for now and we'll throw y in there when we get somewhere. Um, hey, cool, you can watch these. Can you uh, do the chat through IRC? That's nice. That is pretty cool. Um, Ruby, so let's go back to our branch, seeing as that's working. We're going to need a few things. Um, we're going to want... We'll probably, yeah, we'll probably need a position. So let's start that as zero. Uh, we'll want a... Ah, this is one of the parts of indentation on common list I fucking hate. It's just the optional stuff. It should just indent back to here, but whatever. Um, optional, uh, we're going to need a position, we're going to need an angle, we're going to use that for the rotation. So um, for now this is zero. And we're going to want a length, probably a length and a, um, and a thickness as well. So let's start with 5 and the thickness is uh, 0.1 at the moment. And then we are going to basically just copy stuff from up here and do it again. So we can make an instance of a branch. It's going to be a stream, which is a cylinder, which has a radius of... Oh, we don't... Oh yeah, we're using thickness now, aren't we? Thickness is the whole distance. Yeah, like the diameter feels like thickness to me. So this is going to be, yeah, times 0.5 uh, thickness. Oh, and length is going to be height, so that's length here. And what's next? Sampler. Oh, we can leave the sampler as default. That's fine. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. Um. Oh yeah, we don't use... Oh yeah, we don't use position and we don't use the angle. Right, okay, let's do a couple of things here. Let's branch be this. Yeah. And then we'll go set up the position of the branch to be the position we passed in. And we'll set the um, rotation oops, yes, of the branch to be. Okay, now we can bring in our quaternions. So we have a from axis angle function. Oops, axis angle. So the axis is going to be where we're gonna rotate around Z. So let's just do, yeah, zero, zero, minus one probably because we're going into the scene. I don't know what that's gonna be. We'll try it. We'll see if it rotates the right way for us doesn't really matter and then the angle and I want to specify the angle in degrees so we need to change it to radians and so we'll do this and finally push the branch onto the list of things so ooh, what didn't it like oh yeah we have to wrap that lead around there and then I'm gonna make another branch and this time it's going to be actually I, I want these to be keyword arguments because in cases like this, I really only want to experiment with the angle. So angle is 20 degrees. And let's um, save myself a little bother as well and just... Does radians take anything or is it only floats? I think it's only going to be a float actually. So let's just do 
Hey, there we go. Okay, so that went to the right. I'm going to reset the camera for a second. Oh, that's too far away. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to set the access to one because that's probably going to mean... <laughs> yeah, that it rotates left. That's that's actually the direction I want it to rotate. Cool. What is going on? <laughs> Sweet, Shabara's back, <laughs> doing dishes, excellent. Uh, hey, Vid, good to see you. <laughs> Worrying about which number type to use? Yeah, like uh, my a lot of my uh, math library is set up to work with fl uh, single floats most of the time. I should make the radians thing forgiving. Like most of the time, it doesn't matter. The, most of the constructors are forgiving. That one isn't, so. Bit dumb, but it'll be fixed soon. Okay. Right, so we have a way of doing this. I should have a reset function which sets everything back to normal. Lovely, cool. So, now, our draw L system is just gonna make a bunch of objects and position them and rotate them and stuff like this. So, and normally we would expect, like, as the tree branches more, the, um, so the, let me get this right, the area of the branch is maintained in a split. So if a branch is smaller, like, it's the, it's not the diameter that's split, it's the actual area, which makes a lot of sense, right? So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll work that out when we come to it. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave them all the same size, so it's going to look a little weird. But we'll be able to test that we can actually draw stuff. So, let's move this back. Back, 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 back. And let's draw L system. Be fun. Draw L system. Oh, this is going to be the list, isn't it? Okay, so... Now we need to map our symbols into to into something to get done, right? So A needs to mean something and B needs to mean something. Let's go and look at this grammar here. I am not a massive fan of this one. I'm more interested in this stuff if we're going to do branching. Ah, right. How are we going to do this? Okay, no, look, we'll um we'll do it simple. We'll just do one branch for now. We'll say it. Uh, a means go forward, and B means rotate left a bit. So we'll probably be able to make a big circle out of this thing. So when are you going to do all this in geometry shaders? I mean, we could. Could do. <laughs> I want to avoid that for now because I, I don't want to... Oh, man. It's really tempting, and it could just be me just staring at code all night. I'm pretty confident I can get this to work. So, um, uh, what's it going to be? Draw map or something. It's a terrible name. Okay, so we need to map between our symbols and some function that is going to do stuff for us. So, yeah, let's have a forward function. And a B is going to be turn left. Okay, and that means our draw L system can just be, um, we'll have a little function here, um, foo, until I can think of a name, which takes a symbol, and then asic, um the symbol, ah! Out of the draw map, take the CDR of that, which, if I'm not being an idiot, will mean, come on, ASIC, A, draw map. Yeah, and then we take the CDR. Oh, no, I am being an idiot, of course, because this is quoted. Ah, oh, this is actually going to be the list with the symbol function and forward. Nah, okay, fine. List. 
list cons. Come up with a better way to write these rules very soon, but this will do for now. And this needs to be def parameter. And these are going to have to be symbols now. Oh, this is uglier than I expected. Forward is undefined. Yes, it is. That actually makes sense. That should have happened before now. Okay, right. So now we need defund forward. And we'll have some state to pass in there, I'm sure. And turn left. And some state's going to need to go in there. But those functions at least will exist. Now we can do this. And we can get a function. Good. Okay. So this will give us a function. Get func. Um, do symbol. Which is going to be, oh, yes, of course. Um, it is going to be fun call of get funk simple. And then we can just map over this. Um, yeah, let's do map nil. Map nil, do symbol, list. Fine. This is actually just going to be way tidier again as a loop. How <laughs> I look at it. Loop for i in list. Do. We'll keep the symbol name here. Uncall that. Yep, there we go. <laughs> That's way tidier. <laughs> Grapple was always production ready. You should start using the Fortran 66 naming. Thank you, yes, that's a good, that is an outstanding recommendation. I expect no less coming from you. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So this apparently is going to draw a rail system. How the hell is it going to do that? Right. I guess our state is we have a position and an angle. And yeah, we go from there. Yeah, we have, a, I mean, that's just going to be a, two vectors. So, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but we'll see. Oops. Or maybe we can just take the last thing. Yeah, maybe we just put all of this in the branch. Um, so we should store its length in here um, and we should store its angle in here as well so we can oh no we should um, its direction vector I suppose is actually more useful we've already got its position um, okay that updates all of those, except there's none of them. Cool. Um, so when we make a branch, what do we do? We should calculate some of these values first. So this one, so this is the rotation around there so if we if we take this so this is the rotation cool and make this l star and now we're going to make the direction vector which is going to be zero one zero and it's going to be rotated by what is the thing for applying this is it just called apply i can't remember no it's times v that makes sense i think anyway let's have a look No known definition, really? Okay, that's interesting. Seems to think it exists. I have a feeling that I've left something around. Apply. 
Your direction back to. Huh. This is strange. I don't have to turn it into a matrix before I apply to it. That would be rubbish. Yeah, we do have a. Let's have a look. Vec three. See what we've got in here. Look at, point at, from direction, two direction, four. Rotate! Oh, it's called rotate. Fine. That makes sense to a degree. Rotate the. Yeah, rotate this vector by that quaternion and we get our direction. Cool. And these things are going to need init keys, I just realized. Uh, init arg, isn't it? Yeah. Length and the init arg for this will be. Oops. Arg will be direction and this will also need an accessor. Just going to be dear. And the time to. Oh, young lady's arrived. Hey, good to see you. We're uh, going to try and do some plant generation. So we're generating these little um, lists of symbols. And it's going to be like turtle graphics, but in 3D. And we're going to try and draw some little plants using it. It's the idea. <laughs> Back as attempted for Speed Tree out of business. Man, I fucking love Speed Tree. Like, I just, I love media generation in general. And this has been on my list. The stupid thing is, this is, like, I, I was, this, I guess this was one of the factors, one of the many things that got me to do this project anyway. It was in the back of my mind when I was doing Keppel. Because I had gone to just do this before. And there are programs for playing with L systems. And they're all, like, 2D lines and stuff like this. And, like, okay, that's great. And then occasionally there'll be a 3D one. And that's kind of cool, too. But... Then you then you have this model in this editor in their own little L system format, and then you can't do anything with it, and it just felt really annoying. Each one was its own little box. And then the alternative was to like you know install Unity, and which seemed like such crazy overkill for making a shitty tree. Um, so in the end, I, I I was like doing scripting in Blender, and at the time I don't know if I was just doing it wrong, but it felt like. It was a massive pain in the backside. It felt like I was puppeteering someone making a model. It was a really strange way of generating stuff. But, um, yeah, it, it was odd. Um, Pixel Outlaw, I love how cool uh, 3D procedural trees are. You might consider the book Algorithmic Beauty of Plants. Coincidentally... I have the algorithmic beauty of nature here. I also do recommend, I second the uh, algorithmic beauty of plants. It's fucking wonderful. Uh, both of these books are just... Um, that's not a typo. l system -y is because this is l system -y stuff. It is pronounced that way <laughs> because I say so. Uh, I'll send a PR. Yes, the PRs are often welcome. I was going to say always, but I'm sure you people will come up with lovely PRs that I will have to hate. Here you are, baggers, for later. Yes, I love that PDF. I've got that. I've probably got it on this machine, actually. But I'm not going to go digging. Who knows what I'll find here. Um... <laughs> Shamara's bot that's sitting in the chat has just started going fucking weird. <laughs> awesome. Blender and GIMP have a lot of in common. Both are open source and both have UIs, which are basically a war crime. Oh, come on. I I, I actually, I, when I got into Blender, I was quite happy with it. But it was another one like Emacs. It was just like, everything was weird. Um, but the scripting, I actually, oh, I have a love-hate thing with the scripting in Blender because it was so nice. Everything you did, you just had like, here's the Python code for what you just did sitting in the bar. So you could pull it out and play with it. And it was, it was a, it was really cool. It needed a better Python editor, but it was it was fun. Uh, Baggers put the reference in the video description on YouTube. I will try and remember to do that. Um, I think I got all the ones from the other week, though, when we were talking about the graphics resources. I'm hoping that's all right. Um, you might want to have a check. Darius, Blender, really? Yeah, man. Nothing wrong with a bit of Blender. Maybe I'm just a... Maybe I just like programs with... Horrendous learning curves at the beginning. I blame I'm doing this, I guess. Right. So yeah, young lady, we've got a. We take something like. Um, 
Okay, let's have a little uh, a little recap. We have some rules, we have some symbols, and what we're going to do is say in this sentence here, we're going to replace A with AB and B with A. And so if we do that, we get this. And if we just keep repeatedly applying these rules, we generate longer and longer lists. And then what we're going to use, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use this to uh, basically as rules for drawing our plants. We might say A is forward and B is turn left. And then we'll add a bunch of other things in for turn right and all this kind of stuff. Branch. We'll, we'll get something soon, hopefully. So um, this should take the last fit first branch, um, I think. I'm not doing anything with that yet. When we fun call this, we're going to have to pass in. Um, I guess each of these is going to have to return a new branch. So, um, hmm, how do I want to do this? I thought it was smart to stick it in a branch, but then I need a branch to actually start off with, which is kind of dumb. So maybe we do make a. Yeah, I think I think we will make a little class just for the just for the uh, head of the draw. So we'll just say. Draw head is um, just that. It's going to have a position. Has an init arc which is pos, and it has a um, angle. No, it has a direction, and it has a length. Oh, I don't like writing classes. Yes, multi-cursors will make it marginally better, but it still doesn't mean the actual thing itself is good. Grr. Problem is I haven't made an alternative that I actually like more yet, so. Uh, of course, we are now breaking package locks by calling this thing length, so I'm going to call it len instead. All right. And a little function for making um, a new head, which is going to be make instance of head with, and we're going to pass in a position and a direction. Boss is boss. Here is dear. Cool. That saves a couple of seconds. Right. So then we're going to start with. Um, some states, which is going to be make head, and the defaults. I suppose we need some defaults here, so it will be ah, I'm type this. That should do. And every time we call, we're going to pass in a state, and we're going to set the state to be whatever the result is. That might work. So right now this will do nothing. Let's check chat. Jesus. I'm not reading all this out. Of him. Don't worry, baggers. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I don't need to add this one to the stream. <laughs> this could be this could be cast into the waste of time. Right, let's get something actually working here. So we are going to start at this position, and then if we go forward, it's just um, we make a branch, and we don't have to do anything really because the defaults are all going to be. Fine. No, actually, we need to make a position. Needs to be um, the position of the the 
the draw head and we'll take the position of that. And then, oh, we're gonna to need to set our direction to be, ah, that's interesting, isn't it? We need to set our direction. This is a little bit wrong. We wanna pass in a direction and an angle to change. So zero, one, zero is the default. And then we're gonna use direction. Oh, clearly I didn't finish this, did I? Oh yeah, I got distracted. <laughs> Never mind. So we're going to rotate the direction um, by the rotation value, which gives us a new deer. Um, oh yeah, this was when I th thought I was going to put everything in the um, everything in the branch. We do need the length. Do we need the direction though? Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. God, I'm so easily distracted. Right. Direction is direction. Um, rotation is. Yeah, like uh, this does take a rotation, doesn't it? Yeah, we can just do this here. Then we don't need to set and position is position. So we don't need to set any of this down here. Okay, that might work. Um, lots of notes. So we're gonna make a branch with a position and with the direction that's currently in the draw head. And so yeah, we're keeping the same direction. And so the angle is going to be, sure, uh, is going to be zero. And the length can stay five for now. We're not doing anything, we're changing lengths, so that's fine. The thickness can stay the same as well. So that's fine. And then we're gonna return a make head, which is the new position, which is gonna be, okay, so the new position is going to be Let's just work this out. Um, we're going to add on our current position, um, which is going to be this, to the direction times the length, because our direction is normalized. Let's actually make sure that we're always normalizing our direction. And let's make a couple of things here. Just do pos is pos of draw head. Let's unpack this stuff. Actually, as soon as it's a class, we can just do with slots. Um, let's just make sure that when we put it in here, we uh, normalize it, then we don't have to worry. Okay, no, that's fine. So let's take our direction and scale it by a number. And that number is going to be the length did our draw head need a length? I don't think it did actually. That'll be fine without that. Um, we're just gonna calculate the new position that's gonna be used on the next one and the direction. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And yeah, that's, um, that is just gonna be the length of the current branch. What was that? Did we actually store that anywhere? Oh yeah, we don't have an accessor for it. That's um, accessor is len. Um, and the, yeah, the current, so it'll be this branch. Let's return the branch here. I think that's gonna be handy. Soon. Um, Okay. The position of the branch plus the direction of the branch plus the length, which is multiplied by the length of the branch. Okay, that should be the new position. And then the direction should be the direction of the branch. <laughs> and this is wrong because it caught with four arguments, of course, because I've actually, this is a helper function. Okay, okie dokie. By the way, I've been feeling a bit rough today, so if I have to take a break for five minutes, I'll, I'll let you know and I'll just disappear for a bit. Um,
But anyway, right, that took way too long. Uh, we're nearly there. Turning left just means we're going to create a branch with an angle. Let's just say the angle is 20 for now, uh, just so we can get moving. And that is going to change the direction, um, which is going to get normalized. Yes, that should be fine. And so turning left, yeah, we just make the branch and then we extract the details we need and shove it in the, the read head and, whoops. Uh, oh yeah, let's go draw it. And so making this should just be, okay, let's, let's see what happens. So we've got this and we pass it into draw L system. What do we get? A mess. Okay, there's no class named head. Okay, fine. That's probably true, because it's called draw head. A valid number of arguments to forward. That's strange. Uh, nope. So oh, this is one of the places where SBCL could be a little more helpful. What's it not liking? Make branches fine. Um, position and direction and angle and all this. This looks okay. I can't take two. Anyone see what I'm doing? A moment of silence for Pagus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you would you would pronounce me dead very quickly. Um, slotted length and accessor is len. Yeah, because if I say the accessor's length, then I'm gonna fucking run into the uh, naming collision garbage. All right, let's take it slow. What have I done? What have I done? It's gonna be simple. Um, let's just see what we got here. Oops. Come on, man. Bloody hell. Oh, we don't even get there. What? Yes, of course. Now I am a little bit lost. Can somebody save the stream and help me out? What am I doing wrong here? Did it just draw L systems wrong or something? Nope. Pixel Outlaw had the same naming collision issues, trying to use speed. Uh, yeah, slot name speed. <laughs> yep. Come on then, what have we done? Oh, wait a second, I know what it is. This thing's probably holding a really old version. Yeah, there we are. Fine, 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 fine. And some silly things with types. But it doesn't matter. Oh, so apparently, <laughs> apparently nothing happened. Oh, wait a second. I must have uh, must have screwed this up earlier. Okay, what's a bummer? Can't see anything anywhere. Damn it! Wonder where it went. 
So let's let's try just stepping through this slowly. So if we do one, there it is. And if we do A, B, yeah. So that should work. A, B, A. Ah, that should have gone forward again. So that's a bug. Let's get a look at what we're doing. Um, the direction of branch. from turn left um, <laughs> suddenly nothing changed exactly immediately profoundly nothing okay what have I done here something very simple because I am right normalize deer and we rotated Oh, wait, though. This seems a bit... Okay, from axis angle... Yeah, that's the Z rotation. We create a quaternion for that. We apply it to the current direction, which maybe I'm not passing in the direction. When do I do make branch? Make branch. No, I am passing in the direction. So let's uh, go into make head and... Ah, we'll just do this. Um, print list that boss deer. And we'll help ourselves out a little bit. Okay. So after the first one. Okay, so it was only after the first one, the direction was. Yes, that's correct. And that's correct. And then the direction. Yeah, the direction's changed. Directions changed here as well. One second, let's have a look. Oh, okay, so people are struggling to see the lines. No problem, one second. Uh, the thickness can be changed to something a bit more chunky. How's that? Oh yeah, the black background is the problem. Actually, I'm looking at the stream now. Um, let's have a look at clear color. Oh, do I still have to pass in the context for this? Nonsense. Oh, I'll have to fix that soon. Um, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0.4, something like that. Oh yes, of course it's a VEC4, so 0 0.0. Yeah. Horrible. That's disgusting too. <laughs> if it's getting darker again, it'll be black soon. The only color I can stand. Actually, that's barely better, is it? God damn. Let's just make it a light gray. All right, that'll have to do for now. A fat tree, yes. Okay. Make the color similar to the ground, yes. <laughs> We're really helping ourselves here. Okay, so we've got this. But something odd is happening. So after turn left, I expected the angle to be... Let's, um, where's our tree? There we go. I'm gonna make this text a little smaller. If that's too small, let me know. Um, but it's helping me right now. Okay, so after the first step, so no, that was when we passed in, um, when we called make head here, yes, we just passed in this. That makes sense. And then after the first one, the position was five, perfect. And the direction was one, also correct. After this, the position was whatever this is, and the direction was this way. So that's correct. So when we did forward again, why did it go up? It means that forward is wrong. Because it should be taking the direction from the draw head, which it is, and an angle of zero. But... Again... Okay, this having these rules down here is really annoying actually because 
Then every time you change something, you have to go back and change the rules. Can we do, um, if we do like a symbol instead, I think it, yeah, it'll still work and it'll look the uh, function name up at call. Fun call can take symbols. Um, so that'll be fine. It's like the direction is not being used properly. Hmm. Saying that though, um, yeah, there we go. Cool. So yeah, after this one, the direction is this. So. We create a new branch, we take the direction, we scale it. So it must mean there's something going wrong in here, I think. So our direction comes in, we create a rotation, we rotate it and get a new one, which is fine. And our let scope is definitely around everything. Yes. Then we create a new branch, which we set this to be direction, but do we actually make, no, we make a cylinder and we don't rotate it, do we? No, our rotation is wrong. Is wrong, but that's incorrect. Right. Okay. This has to be plus the previous rotation, right? Otherwise, we're. Um, yeah. Okay. So this this is the problem here. Um, we needed to sum the rotations. Does that mean I need to pass that in as well? That's going to be annoying. And do we even need to store the rotation in general? Because we can get away with just direction. I think. Yeah, we can just make the new direction from the... Okay, so we need the rotation for when we're drawing. Um, so I guess we're going to have to pass in. We could just pass the rotation around with the draw head as well. It's a bit lazy. Um, but it would work. Yeah, maybe we do that. We could just pass around rotation instead of direction. And then, yeah, where do we use? Yeah, if we pass around, let's have a look. Yeah, if we always assume the direction is just straight up, then we don't have to do so much here. Yeah, and we'll just pass around rotation and said, okay, that's gonna be the uh that's gonna be the thing. Let's see if <laughs> let's see if I should even look in this chat again. How many people are we today? I am I swear that the um the viewer list in the pop out chat gets a bit weird. But um yeah it looks like a good chunk of us. <laughs> We're onto the fat file system. It has just gone to shit in here. <laughs> Imagine fat trees and it's all gone to hell. Right. Every Michael Jackson grunt. Oh yeah, I, I'm going to stay over here. <laughs> I'll leave you to that. Cool. What are we? We're Okay, we're, we're 10 past 9. This is fine. It's going a bit slower than I planned, but it'll be okay. Okay, so let's uh, let's just go and hack through this quickly. Rotation, rotation, um, this, and yes. This has to be rotation. That's draw head. Then branch is always going to take, like, we don't, we don't need to do this. We can just assume this is always going to be the case. Um, and instead, oh yeah, instead we're going to pass in the rotation, aren't we? So let's uh, let's do that. Identity quaternion is a good default. Um, then this gives us our initial direction. We create a new rotation based on the angle. Then we can we put that there. Here we can. Then we rotate it to its new position. We make a branch with all the things we like. 
and we don't really need this direction in the branch anymore I don't think let's take it out for now we'll assume we don't need that um, in fact I'm going to remove it from here that solves the problem or breaks everything okay there is but never used that does seem wrong no that's fine because we've got the new rotation so that's enough Ah, wait. Oh yeah, we don't. This is this is me getting confused again. We just need to. It's going to be multiply the quaternions, right, to apply them to each other. That's how you. Yeah, that's that's how you add. That's how you add is multiply. Getting smart, right? Um, Q times rotation. We'll have to see if it's a post multiply or not, because I can't remember. All right, that stopped yelling at us. Let's go down here. This now takes a rotation. I'm going to print out the rotation. In fact, there's no point printing that out because we won't be able to understand it. Um, this takes a rotation. This takes that rotation. Go down here. Man, I'm going to just screw this up. Rotation is rotation from the draw head. Uh, we create and get the angle. That's fine. Um, oops. And I've forgotten how to Emacs now. That's good. Um, ah, yes, that's what we were using this uh, this for, weren't we? We were using the direction to calculate our new position. So there is going to be. Probably got that lying around here somewhere. Yes. Rotation is a branch. Dear rotation. Let's just do this. So now we can do. Dear let the branch make head just the rotation this is going to complain about a bunch of stuff um, because this isn't let star sorry I'm not explaining things as I'm doing them tonight I'm, I'm definitely feeling I was feeling kind of alright during the day kind of like I was a bit jippy but coding was going okay but uh <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm actually trying to talk as well. It is difficult. Right, so let's um, reset. Let's just try and draw one. Okay, so that doesn't work at all now. Hooray! Oh, what's going wrong? Oh, yes, of course. Things are... Um, things need updating here as well. Isn't this mostly the same? Um, Rotation, rotation. In fact, it's like all the same, but with the angle, right? So let's just take this and, and suck at pasting. And get, zero. and get rid of that declare because it did not help anything. Nope. Okay, so what did we get? Um, when we came in here, we... Zero, 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 and zero, one, zero. That looks very questionable. That is not a quaternion. So something buggered up. Um, oh, of course, we... Um, where do we kick this off? Down here. Quaternion agency. The fact that even ran is very disturbing. Thank you. There we go. Ah, that's B, and that's AB. Oops, that's not correct. Ah, boy. Oh. There we go. And now if we do ABA, yes, good. And if we do AB, B, B, B. Finally. Good, okay, right, that's, uh, that's that. Um, okay. <laughs> we're, we're into, we're into Switzerland now in the chat. 
This chat needs an off-topic sub forum. I am loving it. And I, I, I'm quite happy to watch this go by and just like, what the hell? Right. No, it, it's actually a relief. Seeing as I'm kind of like all over the place today, this is uh, this is good. So anyway, we can draw basic things now. And if we um, if we go and uh, what was it? Was it run L system? How do we do this? I've forgotten everything. Yeah, else is run. Let's have a look what we had earlier. Yeah, we had this, and then we could say, we could say reset. Else is run, and we can do else is, then draw else is, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, and then we get something. So, <laughs> mental. Reset camera, and just reset everything actually. Okay, so the one thing I'm not too sure about actually was that like our left is slightly different from the one I, I think they were using down here. Ah, so they have um, they have turn B. I'm gonna I'm gonna create make turn left, um, not create a new branch, instead just create a new head. So. Where do we calculate? Because it seems strange, because that's really turn left and go forward, which we don't always want. So this is the new rotation. Which is the old rotation of the draw head. And we can just get rid of all this making a branch stuff, because we don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need direction. Position is going to be the same as it was before. And the rotation is the new rotation. Let's try that. So then if we do draw L system, okay. A and AB should look exactly the same, except it crashed. The variable angle is undefined. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Minus 20. AB will look exactly the same, but ABA will now have the second branch. Cool. And then we'll do turn right. Because we have that as well. So this will be minus 20. And this will be 20. Okay. And so now we can do this. Okay. So that gives us the basic of actually drawing stuff, even though it took way too long. Yeah. God damn. 20 past nine. Sorry, guys. A nice bronzeless whip tree, indeed. Um, let's just try and quickly hack in um, the stack stuff. So the basic idea is when you hit one of these opening brackets here, you remember where you are. So you basically remember the draw head. And then you carry on as normal. And when you see a closing um, one, you pop that, up, that draw head off. I think that's going to be really easy. So we go. Devon. First draw head, um, and we're going to need a pop draw head as well. And pop is going to be easy. Pop is going. To, we're just going to need a stack though for all this stuff. So we could put it in the draw head, seeing as that has become our state um, that we're passing around. Mem in arg. Mem accessor is mem. Um, and whenever we're making a draw head, let's take a mem. Right, and then draw head will be, so forward isn't going to change anything, so we just take the mem from the current draw head. Wow. Turn left is going to be the same. Turn right is going to be the same. Nothing there. Push draw head is the first thing that's going to modify anything. And all it's going to do is it's going to take draw head just like everything else. It's going to keep the current position and rotation from the draw head. And it's going to um, cons the draw head onto the front of the current memory. And then this one is just going to 
pop mem and draw head draw head and i'm pretty sure that's all it's going to need to be and then down here we're going to make rules for i'm going to say f is going to be forward l is going to be turn left r is going to be turn right um we're going to have open yeah we can do that for um push draw head and let's do the other one as well close oh, that's actually gonna be really annoying so we're gonna do um what's, what should we do actually what symbol is not sucky to type and actually so i'm going to do that for push and that for pop no what failed oh make head here okay um, draw L system needs to pass in nil. Yeah, that's fine. And are we still running? Yes, let's do reset. I think we might do, do a reset before every draw at the moment. Just because. So then draw L system ABA fails pretty hard. Okay, function nil is undefined. That means something is returning nil. Um, Oh, of course, uh, no, that's, that doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, because our, um, we haven't got a, oh uh, yeah, if anything else isn't actually going to return. I thought we had a, I thought we had a thing for this in our, um, oh, that was in our L system grammar, but okay. So in. I'm mumbling here, so let, let's just go through what I was trying to say there. When we had Elsa's run, we could put in symbols that it didn't know about and it just ignored them. Uh, but when we're drawing, um, we don't have something to tell it what to do if there's nothing there. So let's look at draw map where it's used, which is here. And so we need a function that's just going to do nothing, which is identity. now yeah there we go and now we are going to create some new rules so f becomes f and turn left um, let's actually just copy the rules they had for their tree down here this was something where were the rules for this um, Okay, one to one one. Ah, that's the one I want. I want something like this. Okay, so forward is going to become forward forward, which is going to make branches longer over time. And then, what was the other one? Zero is, that's interesting. When is zero even going to get introduced in there? Oh, their axiom is zero. Okay, fine. Um, and we'll say C is, how do they do this? Sorry, I'm, <laughs> pixel outlaw, hmm, how will the left and right approach go when it goes to 3D twisting branches, I wonder. We're going to have to um, do some, we're going to have to like make stochastic L systems at that point. Then we're going to have to add randomness and that's where it, uh, that's when, where things change out. People working out how to do IRC emojis. Right. So their rule they had was... I'm going to call it B for branch. What's it going to be when we draw though? That's interesting. Um, I guess it's just going to be identity. See, this will be forward in mine and then theirs was like turn they had turn left and remember um oh no remember and turn left i think it was and then this was remember and turn this is pop and then turn right oh let's just try this let's see what we get if we do this rule for um C will become this. What does that do? Oh, nothing yet, apparently. That's interesting. 
Oh, that's why. Right. We managed to stop at some point. Nope, it didn't like that. Okay, let's um, run this. Oh yeah, because we're um, we're doing the wrong thing. Okay, so we need to. I just need to test this. I think. So if we do F, we get one branch. Now every time we do this, that's fine. And then we do left and looks no different. And we do this. Now I should be able to put this in, turn left, go forward, pop it and go forward again. And then we get that branch, which is good. So we can do this. And that is a simple segment. So we will take this. We will make F turn to F, F into F. A or B for branching, doesn't really matter, and then B will turn into this. Let's just see what happens if we do this. And then we start it off with, um, we need something to generate. So we'll start with F and we'll do it once. We get F, we do it twice, we get F again, which is annoying. Why aren't those rules applying? Yeah, they look right. Oh no, they don't. They look old. Def var rather than def parameter. God damn it. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then three will give us this, and then four will give us this. So at this point, then we can say draw L system. We can do it once, and we'll get this. Second iteration looks like that. Third iteration, well, our fourth iteration looks like this. Bloody heck, okay. That's a bit more branchy. Um, but what's happening here? Why is this not getting any longer? I would have expected subdivision there as well. Maybe something to do with the pop. Eval def R again. <laughs> Never mind me. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was doing. Um, There are German jokes in the chat. Can't even follow what's going on now. Dealing gags is a very lopsided tree. That is true. But it is something that might be a tree. So let's uh, let's get rid of these print statements because they're annoying me. And then I want to examine why. I think I'm going to put a... So what I will do actually... Can I just screw something up? No. Okay. I'll put a print statement here. And then let's look what we got. So it would have done forward branching, which will expand in something later. So forward, forward, these are our two forwards. It turned left and goes forward. Now this should then transform into double forward itself. That's what's interesting here. Um, Oh no, it should turn into FB. That's interesting. I'm going to have to bring this L system back in and see how it transforms. Okay, so it turns to FB. And that turns to left and then L, which is fine. And then I would have expected um, this F before the V to turn into FB. But it doesn't. Why is that? That actually seems like a mistake. It seems like a problem. What we could do is we could print out all of the transforms themselves that we got from the L system substitute. So we get the result here. We do um, format T from A to, whoops, come on boy, symbol to res. Oh, of course, yes, new lines. F went to B, F goes to FB, 
See, this transform looks right. But then it looks like it's missing here. Because the... If we take two, a second iteration, and then we run it... Let's have a look. How are we doing this? Right, so I want this to turn into like, so wherever we have this hat L, F, right. So then F should turn into FB. So it should be hat L, FB, because the L doesn't turn into anything else in the rule set. Hat L, F goes to FB. Hat L. Oh yeah, hat L F B. Oh okay, so it's so the branching is applying up here, but not further down. Mm, that's weird. Now make it grow pepperoni. We're not going back to the pizza. <laughs> Almost looks like the pieces are there, but the left hand rotation and reposition isn't getting updated. I know what you mean, actually. Yeah. Let's um. Let's draw some simple things and see if uh, see if I've made some some elementary error here. So we go forward, fine. We go left and forward again, cool. So then let's remember before we turn left. And that's fine. And then we pop and we go forward. That's okay. What happens if I pop again? That will probably break. Oh, I wonder if we're getting unbalanced pop anywhere. No, we're always adding Always adding them two at a time. We're adding a up and a down, so that should be okay. I suppose it could be that, like, yeah, if we're messing up the, um, could we be messing up the draw head somehow? Pop is destructive, though, right? That could be something. Yeah, what if I just returned rest here? Whoops. That didn't like that. Oh, we're stopping play again. Seems to be very easy for me to um, kill the kill the system today. Don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm getting into the habit of hitting abort rather than... Um... Never mind. going on here fan laser the nice thing even if the code had bugs you still have some kind of plant that is true it's just super annoying i just wanted this to be so let's take i'm gonna okay let's replace f let's just have one roll <laughs> f becomes this Which is forward, remember, left, forward, pop back, right, forward. Ooh, wait a second though. Is that right? Hmm. That might nest in an interesting way, actually. I hadn't thought about that. Let's um, that seems slightly suspect. I'm gonna work out why soon. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that other print for now. Oh no, it wasn't. It was a format, wasn't it? It's just too much. Um, cool. And then we say draw this. Yeah, we've got lopsided something happening on here because it's always it's always adding onto that right hand side. This is the right rule, but I'm I'm not actually return. No, I'm not returning to something here. Oh, there's something fundamental here. I'm just missing. Let's just fo let's follow the uh, follow a slightly simpler one. 
and just see um, what I was getting. So let's get a little closer. Let's do some visual debugging and see what we got. Okay, move that out of the way. Get the doodling up where I belong. Oops. I think it's F9 now because everything's changed. Cool, so we've got forward, which is fine. Then we turn left. We, sorry, remember where we are. We turn left, we go forward. Then we pop back to where we were. We turn right and go forward. And then we remember where we were again. Yeah, this actually looks correct. Turn left, go forward. So I guess it's just my substitution rule is a little funky. Twist it, turn it, bop it. <laughs> no need to pop. And we're going to stay here for 100 years and wait for someone to find the bug because it's obviously there. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is a. Uh, I'm wondering if this is actually correct. Hmm. But this is like a. It's man. I always visualize this as a subdivision kind of thing. So this branch would split, and you would have what coming off. If I'm not, maybe I'm actually misunderstood this at a kind of fundamental level. Yeah, maybe we need to pop back after. What happens if we change the rule? So before we do the right, we do this and then pop back. What do we end up with? Oh. Oh. Oh, that looks a little better. <laughs> so yes, this bit's working okay. I'm just being a Muppet. Okay, so now um, a few other things. We want to keep track of the depth down here because I want to scale these branches. Um, so I think every time we... How should we do this? Um, da -da 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 -da. Where should we stick this piece of state? We just want to know the length from... Um, well, when we're pushing and popping and stuff like this, this makes sense to do it there. Um, so maybe we can just store the number of steps from the origin in the current head. Maybe that'll work. There's a little bit of extra state to throw around, but it's um, but it could be all right. So we say zero here, um, and then we just count every time we every time we go forward, we add one. Yeah, and that's it really, isn't it? Because then when we do the pop, it'll return to the earlier one. So that's the only thing we have to do. Okay, that's fine. Um, Jesus, what's going on? Bet it recurs depending on how deep it is or something. It was just crazy to a floppy tree. <laughs> Fuck. That is an excellent gif. Okay. Man on track to get smacked by a tree. The things that you're missing if you're not in the chat right now. Just a lot of a, a lot of ranting about file systems in Switzerland. You're just full of help today, aren't you, Shimera? The structure will change no matter how much you zoom. Thank you. I guess I am feeling a bit ill, so I need these kind of simple bits of advice. Shove a generation var into the branch from the parents plus one. Yeah, I wonder if we do it. Should we do that in the branch? Should we do that in the um? Let's let's stick that in the uh, draw head, so it gets popped correctly. And then when we make the branch, we can use that for the scale. That should take a couple of seconds. Let's just do that. What did you call it? You had a nice name for the. Uh... <laughs> sorry, baggers. Don't be sorry. That was excellent. That's the quality we need in this channel. Um, oh yeah, Jen. So let's just let's just do that. Jen accessor is Jen. Is that going to complain about anything? No. Cool. Right. Let's uh, there you go. Make head now. Let's take Jen as well. Uh, 
And then when I can compile, yeah, save the thing, it'll complain about all the places I've broken it. So forward is gen a draw head plus one. This one is fine. Hopefully this time I didn't manage to stall the damn thing. No. Cool. Okay, so now we can draw this again. Let's put five generations on there. And I want to make it thicker to begin with. So let's just say it's three to start with, which will make them big and ugly like that. And then when we make a branch... When do we make branches? It's only on forward now, isn't it? Make branch, make branch. Yeah, it's only here. Cool. So then the thickness, which we can pass in here, I believe. Um, yeah, let's just divide it by the generation. So three divided by gen of draw head. This is going to get pretty thin pretty fast. Oh, there we go. <laughs> look at look at that horrible discontinuity there. That's that is special. But it is getting thinner. God damn, that's funny. Okay, so the other thing now, <laughs> now we've got something. New size equals max size divided by gen. Yeah, that's uh. Why am I making the shell logo? <laughs> because, yeah, all of this is sponsored by Big Oil. Can't you tell? Uh, this is what I'm drinking right now. It's just so thick. Like me today. God damn. Spikeless cactus. <laughs> That's a plant. It still counts, doesn't it? That was the goal. So, um... <laughs> what if I was actually helpful? I wouldn't believe it was you. <laughs> Ladies, you can draw a green pizza on top. I have the pizza code is on a branch. I can't pull it in. I'm, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. We will, <laughs> we'll have to put some little pizzas on it later. Okay, so we've got something going on here at least, and hopefully we can stick you know, ten of these in. And holy shit, that's a lot of typing. Um, Oh, and that's a lot of branches too. God damn. Okay. Um, 10 was too many. There we go. That was six generations and that was plenty. Right, so it'd be nice to actually add some random uh, axial rotation as well. So when we make the branch up here. Um, let's just also throw some extra stuff on here as well. So let's Q multiply. Uh, we could probably normalize this actually. Like, I can never remember. Do, is it safe to keep multiplying quaternions and then normalize afterwards? Like, or do you normalize between each of the multiplications? I think you can get away with it until you, like, I, I oh well, I'm going to normalize now. Someone in the chat can Google it or convince me otherwise. That'd be cool. Let's take this, let's take this. We're gonna now say our axis is around here. This is now gonna be a um, random um, two pi f. And that was it. That was all we needed to get some variation in other domain. Wow, we must have had a lot of overlapping there. Is that really that many? One of the things about L system is kind of annoying if you're wanting to do something like um, speed tree. Is that you don't get self-avoidance. Um, so these branches are going to intersect each other if you set certain parameters. Um, length is not changing. <laughs> Baglets. No, there will be no baglets. 
or baguettes or baguettes. Actually, baguettes would be fucking good, man. Making me hungry now. Um, yeah, length isn't changing. That's a good point. Let's scale the length as well. Um, and can someone think of a better heuristic for shrinking these branches? Because they still seem thick. Um, Shimera, make yourself useful. Come up with a better thing for the uh, thickness. Reset camera. And look up a bit. I'm still not comfortable with the Quaternion camera stuff as well. I'm going to have to spend some time doing that properly one day. Actually get some understanding of what I'm doing there. Because it's still a bit dark magic-y to me. I, I get it somehow. but Okay, so length someone suggested... Um... Yeah, I mean, I suppose the length could be... No, the, if the length was generation, then uh, they're just going to get longer every generation. Um. <laughs> nope, I can't confirm, but get is always the same. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so... Um, down here, length could be... We'll just say, yeah, we'll do, we'll do a similar thing. We'll say it's 5 and then divide it by the uh, generation. Oops, that's reset camera, not, not redraw the damn tree. Draw L system, there we go. Okay. That's funny. Um, because our length is now incorrect for our calculation on the new position. Length of the branch, which is... Oh, that's fun. Do we not set the length of the branch? Oh, we don't set the length of the branch. Here we go. And I bet we don't even have a... So length is length. There we go. Oh, wow. That is horrible. <laughs> hmm. I think not. Okay. <laughs> Spliff trees. <laughs> Sweet particle effects, my dude. Yeah, exactly. Is a tree a particle or a... <laughs> Here we go. Someone is going to be useful. It's juice. Uh, max len times shrink factor to the power of gen where shrink factor is between 0 and 1. That does sound reasonable. Let's, uh, let's go for that. Jace, sorry. So len is going to be multiplied. Max length, which for right now is 5, which will change soon. And shrink factor, which we'll come up with in a minute. Um, raise the power of Shrink factor. Good lord, what is going on with me? Shrink factor. So the power of generation. Cool, yeah, that sounds nice. Then is defined but never used, of course, because now we need to use it here. And that made it teeny. So now we can do this. That was the wrong direction. Oh, of course, yeah, that. That makes sense. 0.99. Here we are. So we're getting a bit of shrinkage now. A bit of shrinkage. Right, and then we should probably use something similar for the thickness because this is way nicer. Thickness. Oh boy. Um. Len factor for the shrink and uh, thick factor 0.8. Thickness is defined but never used, also true. Okay, yeah, now this is this is much better. Beautiful. 
well, not beautiful, but uh, better. <laughs> much, much better. Okay, so the next thing we would really want to do, other than, like, so there are a number of things we want to do. We want to make sure that these thicknesses actually, like, the starting and the ending thickness um, match. Like, the, it, it shrinks down during the length of the cylinder. I could probably hack that in. I'm not sure if, um, let's, uh, where's the cylinder function? Let's go and look up the cylinder GPU arrays, cylinder C arrays, cylinder foreign. Okay, so right now this only takes a radius, but I need to have a variant at some point that takes um, a radius for the top and bottom. I'll add that in another day. We won't do that on the stream. Since I'm so incoherent right now, that's uh, it's probably for the best. Chase, yeah, you rule. Thank you, sir. Point is, make it geometric, indeed. Um... <laughs> Heck, that reminds me of telecom days. Cable splicing, indeed. But yeah, now we can make up new rules and see what actually happens with them. So yeah, right now we've got one rule. Um, I have one rule. Um, bloody hell, that's a... Uh, that's a lot. Let's tail that in a bit. And also right now we always split by the same angle as well. So we want to start making a lot that random. Also, we want to just generate this as one continuous mesh, which I have done before. And that means obviously like, it's the same kind of tessellation problem. The same kind of problems you get in tessellation where you get um, the different branches. You end up wanting to have different poly counts because like at the base where it's, you know, 10 meters around, you want to have a lot of segments. And then for a tiny twig, you don't want it to have like a thousand segments. So. You end up having to do that kind of splicing to make it all work. But, um, yeah. This is a place to start. And we can start messing with um, the angles as well. Which is nice. And we could have different rules for different angles. So we could have... Um, well, actually, I mean, I suppose if we set just set this to 10 and... Um, or five or something small. Because 10 is small in degrees. What am I on about? Um, we can just do left, left, and right, right. And uh, get similar effects. So now we can do right, 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 and left, left, left. See, I, I find it tricky because. So one of the times I did this before, and like I said, I was doing it in Blender, and I went for a walk. And was just looking at plants and it seems like at different state obviously at different stages of life you get different growth rates and all this kind of stuff and they're kind of hard to express as uh, symbols like this i found it was easier to express them as um kind of like generations so ranges are like a certain age certain things have certain properties and um yeah grow like deciding deciding certain things because when a the rate of growth is I'm trying to remember how this works. So the like the most of the tree is just the um like yeah your fibrous trunk. The main out alive part is underneath the bark. Um, so all the nutrients are coming up in that. Oh, what do they call it? God damn! I used to know all these terms. <laughs> but um yeah, up on the on the the kind of thickish layer underneath the bark is where all your nutrients are being pulled up. And so that area is the bit that's alive and is swelling all the time and causing the cracks in your bark, depending on the type of the tree. And so it's nice to actually model um, nutrient flow when you do something like this. And these L systems are fun for a kind of um, cellular division kind of feel, but not so good for that. I'm going to actually shorten this. I just think this tree should be, its length factor should be about eight. Oh, definitely not eight. Blimey, like anything much lower than nine just feels weird. Oh yeah, I haven't learned a thing. I haven't learned a thing. Oh, right, um, six. I mean, the most disconcerting part about this right now is just this. 
this horrible business here. But that's all right. This is pretty awesome. Thank you, sir. Hey, we've got, we have got a toy now, and we can just play with this. I love seeing this, this nonsense spat out. This is great. I'm gonna actually have to turn that, turn that off as good as it is. But yeah, we can just get trees now. And when you get like, when you get a nice rule that describes, let's see if I can find, let's consult the book. Let's just see if I've got any uh, nice recipes we can use. Okay. Um, need to find out what their rules are. Man reads book. Top streaming content. Um, plant like fractals. Here we go. I'm just trying to find out because they've got it. So basically, I've got. See if you can see any of this. I've got a bunch of little recipes of a different kind of plants on, a, and this is like different kinds of uh, fractal curves you can also generate with the same system. Um, but they have a they they have um, F and the square brackets stuff, so it's like push things onto the stack and remove it from the stack. But they also have a pipe operator in there as well. Um, okay. All right, so their, their pipe thing is actually to do with... Um, okay, let's have a look. The uh, pipe, or pipe command is processed by the LSYS program at every depth, not just at the final depth, since pipe command is never recursively expanded. The uh, pipe command essentially means that the L system should uh, program should produce a line whose length is computed by the current step size. Well, we've um, we've got some stuff for handling size already, so I think I'm going to ignore that and just see if we can just put in one of these rules and see what we get. Out the way, things. It's uh, and they have just a single rule for this as well, which is nice. This should this should be simple. I'm going to save this one for later, because that was nice. We can start having a little uh, bank of these. So F, and then it's hat, left, F, V, F, hat, right, F, V, F. Right, and this should, hopefully, oops. Do something different than this. Oh, we've got the uh, random... No, that... That isn't right. Oh, of course, yeah. Okay. Right, so our thickness is a bit strange here. Um, I'm going to keep the... Thickness constant for this one. At a 0.3... Oh yeah, thick factor is not used. Fine. Um, and I'm gonna I actually want to show you this because it's worked, which is really fun. So and I think okay. So the problem actually with ours is our angle is very shallow compared to theirs. So we're doing 10 degrees. So we can just change this to have, wherever they have an L, we're going to have an LL. Whenever they have an R, we're going to have an RR. Change that rule. Okay. So we have, holy shit, that's tall. Okay. Um, <laughs> where's our length? Okay, let's change this down to three. That's still long and... Damn it, let's just do less of the rule then. God damn, this is actually really cool. Um, 
Now we're going to do something stupid. I'm going to try and show you what's in this book because this fractal we just did is this one here. Let's see if we can get it, which looks kind of correct, which is groovy. So that's that's one of the recipes we were just able to do. So that's cool. Um, so that is sweet. Now I want to try another one. Ooh, this one's got loads of crap in it. Let's have a go at this one. That should be... Uh... So angle is 20. We'll just double everything. So this was quite lovely. But let's get it out of the way. F is okay. So we hat, um, and then they've got two left. So we're gonna have to do four left. Two, three, four. Um, a forward, a pop, a push. Um, two right, a forward, a pop. A left, a left, a forward. <laughs> that didn't look so good. What? I missed something here. Should have got a bit further than that, unless this is a... No, we're <laughs> just... We're drawing a little star. That isn't what it looked like in the book. Damn it! Bobby? Right. Let me just see how I've screwed this up. So F gets replaced with... Push. A couple left. One forward. A pop, a push. One right. One forward. A pop. A left, a forward. Okay. Apparently, our system and theirs differs in something here. Um, it might, it shouldn't be to do with the pipe though. Hmm. Weird. But, uh. <laughs> yes. A shrubbery, indeed. This one has roots. Yep. You uh, then you can fuss with the angle too between generations. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like the I find this this system a little hard to control. I'm probably going to go back and try and dig up my old system that I had, um, and remake that because that was fun. Um, lax path and two level effect. Oh God, yes. Thought for a second you're actually like going, oh, there's something interesting and technical here. No, no, it's just Python again. Yeah, actually, um, having a UI, I started wrapping the nuclear UI library. Um, but uh, I, I just haven't finished doing that yet. Um, it's fucking huge. I wonder what it is that's killing this this uh, tree thing off. It feels like um Wait a second, yeah, like if the final F should have actually um caused it to propagate further. That's a, that's slightly confusing. Hmm. Have one last little look here. Oh, is this was that though? Is this the shrubbery? Ah. Oh. Yeah, something a bit odd. 
what's going on here. Oh. Hold the phone. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I think seeing as we got some progress here, we'll probably leave it at that. Let's bring this stuff back in. It went a bit slower than I was planning for, but it's still kind of cool. Um, <laughs> let's... Not leaving until we get something that looks vaguely acceptable. We could be here sometime. That'll do. That could be tree-like from a distance. Um, Chimera saying, I still haven't decided what to do with UI. Yeah, like, um, I just don't want to write a UI engine. I really don't want to do that. I might end up doing that. I really don't want to. Um, uh, Jason, a little UI stuff eventually. Sure, yeah, we can do that. Um, I'll, I'll have to get that fixed up. My main projects I'm working on right now is I'm looking at FBX because after doing this stuff with primitives last week, I just I really want to get some proper models in. And I'm no artist, so we're going to have to load in some assets that other people make. Loads of the... Um, again, all of the f main game dev is like in Unity and Unreal and their main formats are generally based around FBX. So we need an FBX importer. Unfortunately, FBX is very C++ kind of library. Um, so it's it's not something we can wrangle through the FFI and Lisp or in any of the most other scripting languages. So I'm looking to fix that at the moment. Um, so I end up writing a lot of C++. But that, when that's done, we'll be able to dump FBX to a flat format that's easy to wrangle. Um, and then that'll just be kind of an intermediary step so you take an FBX, you dump it, and then you use whatever language you like to process that into uh, a format that you prefer. Because all games are shipping their own formats anyway. Like, it's not like you ship with FBX. So this, that's the plan. I'll probably have something in a month because it's a very boring project. So it's going to take me some time to, you know, stay driven at it. Um, can you make it spam a random tree every three seconds? Totally. We can do that. Uh, <laughs> where's our um, yeah take this where's play with that oops Let's do two seconds. It's nicer. There we go. So um, yeah, FBX is a pain. I'll get that done, and then we will look into loading those models in, and we'll and that that's going to open up a whole bunch of stuff like animation systems and all these kind of things we'll need to write. Um, yeah, and, and basically that will give us a ton more stuff to do in the stream. In the meantime, we're probably going to have a few weeks like this where we, uh, we pick a thing and we try and implement it. And um, it might be more trees. It might be... I want to do that erosion thing I was mentioning before. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, like, uh, feel free to shout anything in the chat before we, before we call it an evening. I'm have a little of this coffee. And um, yeah, as usual, thanks for, thanks for showing up. And I'm sorry I'm a little kind of just hazy today. Uh, I hope this was still fun enough to watch. Let's have a look what's going on. Um, Pocadillo! Sorry, I just realized you asked the question. Uh, I haven't seen your nick before, so welcome if it's your first time here. Thanks for coming. Jace actually managed to get um, Pile working a little while ago, one of my playgrounds. Oh, so that was you! Cool. Of course it is. That's, um, you're um, Elijah Melby, right? 
on uh, GitHub. <laughs> Three second challenges accepted, I guess. Yep. I love this. It, it, it is. It is not the language that was slowing me down today. It's very much this business. Um, Shimera is loving everything about himself right now. I just want to put that on the record. Shimera is really happy with all he achieves and everything he makes. Um, <laughs> Hey, Bocadillo is new. Cool. Yo, come back. We'll have more. Hope Swiss and New Zealand people understood everything. Ah, don't worry about them. <laughs> They'll take care of themselves. <laughs> oh, how is it? J97 on GitHub? I, I was clearly I was clearly on top of things. No, that's really cool. actually having someone play with Pile was a massive surprise. So uh, I did bindings around the nuclear um, UI library, and then I started trying to make an, a fairly uh, I don't know a static abstraction over the top of it called Pile, um, and it's it's work in progress. I think it's probably broken at the moment, since all the stuff I've been doing with Keppel, but I will fix it. Then I get time. I want to get FBX done though. It's just so painful. Like we can at least now we have like gamepad and stuff like this. We've got input so we can tweak values. It's not an ideal, and we can scrub with things on the mouse. But un until we <laughs> until we can actually import something, we're we're stuck with stuff like this and the pizza, or this with pizzas on it. You <laughs> see, look, I barely play rugby. Oh, called out. God damn. I am not getting involved in that one. Pond of Pimp, you are on your own. You can find him in France. <laughs> All right. I'm out of coffee, which means this is over. So, yeah, thank you so much for coming down. Um, we did manage to get something, which is cool. And hopefully we'll dig a little further another day. And uh, make something that's a bit more acceptably tree. So, yeah. Have a good one. Um, am I going to continue with this tree baggers? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sold on the... Oh, actually, before I go, I will, I will mention one thing. Go to um, Proc World. Just do that. This guy is wonderful. Um, he's been doing a system called Voxel Farm. But he's been blogging for years on... Um, procedural generation stuff and so if we go back to if I unblock everything um, let's have a look come on machine we can do this blogger's got too much stuff where is it where are you there it is allow blogger while everything churns over yeah this guy's done uh, just some really cool stuff Let's have a look down here from voxels to polygons. Basically, start just read his whole, just read his whole blog. But he did some uh, tree generation stuff uh, with voxels. It was very cool, and he was um, again like it says here. I'm not using our system to generate trees, but you get um, say the amount of input and the um, intersection and all this kind of stuff. There were better ways of doing, it. and he was using space colonization, which is a pretty cool approach. I'll probably try that out at some time. I also just want to try digging up uh, my old implementation because last time I did it I got some nice I got some really nice trees coming out of it and I'd like to do that again especially in Kevin. Um Right yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm heading off I'm heading off. I will catch you people next week thank you so much. Ciao.